talk to you guys today about what my school does to make a difference. Now, before I get into that, I'd like to let you guys know how I became motivated. Now, my family, um, we take many trips down south and like across the world, so we've traveled a fair amount. And we've always had those luxuries of resorts and never quite experienced like the realness of each country. So one time when my family was in Dominican Republic, we went to an off-resort trip. They told us to bring su um, items such as pencils, erasers, the supplies that we take for granted. Now when we were there, um, we saw that many of the houses were run down and many of the children weren't even wearing shoes. When they saw the Jeep, they ran after it very quickly and we were very surprised because these children have nothing compared to us. Now, I think more about it now, and I would like for you guys to take a second to think about it. If they don't have pencils and these necessary supplies, what else might they not have? With that in mind, I would like, you guys, I would like to talk to you guys about something my school does each year called the 24-hour wake. This is something that makes a huge difference for many people. It also allows us to have fun while we raise awareness. Um, we are very well off in North America and we have tons of schools to choose from. Many of people think of schools as a burden, but to people in countries such as Kenya, they think of it as a luxury. They don't have nearly as much as we do. So going to the school for them would be a gift of a lifetime. So my school decided to help give that gift. So in partnership with the Kinzaghi Foundation, our school helped give it. We didn't want to just ask for money, we wanted to find a way to help people get involved. So with that, we started the 24-hour wake. This year, we held a wake to raise money to build schools in Nevasha, Kenya. The participants for the wake woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning and came to school as usual. They went to classes and everything, but as soon as the bell rang, they had to stay at the school until 7 the next morning. Now for this, you had to raise a minimum of $20 each. This year, our school had 300 participants and we raised almost $8,000. This amount is an amazing achievement and it makes us very proud to know how involved the students at our school are. So imagine this, if one school can almost raise $8,000 to build a school, what would happen if all the schools in Ottawa got involved? We can make a difference larger than anything anyone could imagine. If every school in Ottawa participated, imagine how many lives we could change. If 300 students from 50 Ottawa area schools raised $20 each, that would alone raise $300,000 and imagine how many schools, wells, and other buildings in developing countries we could help. Think about how many lives would be affected. The difference in one event could make. If one city could do this, why not adding a region to participate, a province, or even the whole country? So I realize that this is thinking big, but one thing can lead to another and a few motiv motivated people can make a difference. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's definitely not impossible. You could bring this event back to your school or back to your organization and get people involved with making a difference. Being able to see the smiles on people's faces is the most rewarding thing to see. We were able to see the pictures of the school that we built, and that was such a great reward. Um, so, I'd like to thank you. <laughs>